Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be going over the process of uh, doing the uh, inner uh, nostril here, the inner detail with the Dremel tool. And I'm also going to show you how I cut in the tear ducts and the lip line with a modeling tool. I've had uh, quite a few people uh, in the comments send me messages and asking, you know, if I could do a video showing how to do the inner detail of the nostril. And uh, so I'll go ahead and, and uh, go over the, the tear duct and, and how I cut the lip slot in the mouth. So y'all stick around here. I'm going to get the camera scoot over here closer and we'll get started. All right, guys, I got the Dremel. So what the first thing I'm going to do is when I'm carving inside this nostril out is I'm going to go straight in from the tip of the steer's nose. I'm going to plunge this bit in. So I'm going to turn this uh, Dremel on. It's probably going to get a little noisy, but y'all kind of y'all be able to see what I'm doing here. Now I'm just going to start at the tip end of the nose. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my, turn my Dremel tool sideways. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, we got the nose started. I've got the, the inner detail here on the inside of the nostril. Now I'm going to come and kind of carve it on back a little further here. Alright, and that's pretty much all I'm going to do as far as carving the inside of that nostril. I've got it cut out. If you got, uh, you know, you can buy a reference nose that shows you the inner detail. Uh, but like I said, if you got a specimen in your shop there um, that you can look at, just look down inside the nose and uh, you can see how the palate, or not the palate, but the septum and everything inside the nose, how it, you know, how it works and how the, the the skin and the hair how it lays down inside the nose and I'll give you an idea how to go in there and carve this out all right guys first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my modeling tool here it's just a just a modeling tool tucking tool whatever you want to call it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this curved flat end and I'm gonna go in this tear duct and this tear duct you don't you're not just gonna cut just a straight line it's kind of almost got an S shape to it it starts up here it's a nictitating membrane in the front corner of the eye, it's a caruncle. And I'm just going to push this tool in, and I'm going to work my way down. And I'm just going to go, kind of go in at an angle. And then when you get at the bottom, I'm going to turn this modeling tool over, and I'm going to create kind of that S shape. You'll go out towards the tip of the nose, and then kind of back in. And then flip your tool over and then curve it back in to make the other side of the S towards the caruncle or the corner of the eye. And then what we'll do is when we mount this deer, we'll tuck that uh, tear duct skin up inside of this slot and I'll take and put a few pins in there to hold it in place. And we'll also have high pasting glue on here. But uh, that's pretty much all there is to cutting in this uh, slot here around the eye. And you just want to make sure you give you enough room to uh, tuck the skin in, but you don't want it to make it too big because you want this to be, when you mount this deer, you want this skin pinched up and closed up inside of this area right here around the eye. So I'm going to move the camera around. We're going to cut the lip slot. I'll go over it next. All right, I got the camera moved down here. 
and we're going to work on the lip slot now. And I don't use a Dremel tool or a saw or nothing to do the tear ducts or the lip. The only thing I use a Dremel on is to open the nostril up. All right, so what we're going to do is in this back corner, if you've watched my, uh, the deer hide prep video for, for mounting, you'll leave an extra skin in the corner of this deer's mouth to be able to tuck up in here in this slot I'm fixing to show you how I make. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this tool in at an angle back up in the back corner of this deer's mouth right like so and I'm gonna work it up in there. When I do I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this tool out and I'm kind of gonna open this up and just I'm just kind of kind of working this foam around opening it up because I want this slot in this back corner to be wider than the rest of the slot. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the tip of this tool over and angle it in and I'm gonna cut this slot about a quarter of an inch all the way around this deer's mouth. I'm just going to, all I'm doing is poking it in into the form. And I'm going in at probably, at, at an angle, probably about 45 degrees towards the bridge of the nose here. And what this is going to do is, this is going to prevent the bottom jaw from breaking out when you mount this deer. Because if you, if you, pu if you push this straight in this way on this foam, and then you meet in the middle on the other side, you, you could accidentally break the bottom jaw loose. And if you do, it just, you can fix it but it just gets loose and it you have to figure out a way to uh, glue it back that way when you tuck your your hide in it ain't don't have a gap in it but just continue working your way around this lip slot you can just follow this natural line of the lip around and like i said all i'm doing i'm not making this very wide because what you want to do is when you're mounting this deer you want this form to pinch that skin as it dries and hold it in place and if you if you make this tight enough to where you have to kind of force that that lip skin in, then you won't uh, you won't have to worry about pinning or nothing like that. As long as you got some hide paste kind of you know smeared around up in here, you'll be good to go. But I'm just gonna continue going all the way around this deer's lip and tucking this in. That's all there is to cutting the lip line in. Like I said, just make sure you just, you know, water this out a little bit and get you a, enough room back in here to be able to tuck that extra skin in. Because what's going to happen is once you push this, pull this skin down and line your lip lines up, if you'll push this tool in like towards the back of this deer's head and then pull it out, it'll pull any wrinkles you have in the corner of the mouth. It'll stretch them all out and straighten them out. So that's going to be it for cutting the lip line in. All right, guys, that's going to do it for cutting in the tear duct, cutting in the lip line, and dremeling out the nostril. Hope you got a little something out of this video. And uh, if you had not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It don't cost a thing. And uh, give this video a like. If you have any questions about any of these processes I just did on this video today, just send me a message in the comments here on YouTube. And uh, I'll uh, get back to them just as soon as I can. I'll try to answer every question that comes across through there. So uh, uh, if, if we got, if y'all stick around here, we got more videos coming up here on the channel. Uh, we're getting ready to kick off the new year. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and God bless.